Well, I'm not sure that I actually even mentioned this, but this section is called multiplication of polynomials. Let me uh, let me write up a polynomial here. Let's say, for example, we have 3x plus 1. And I'm going to write another polynomial. In fact, we'll just write it over here. And we'll say that it's just uh, xy. Okay, so these are both polynomials. And this section is multiplication of polynomials. So why don't we multiply these two together? So in other words, I'm going to say xy times 3x plus 1. So xy times 3x is going to be 3x squared y, right? Because we have two x's, x times x, plus, and then I distribute the xy across, and that just becomes xy, right? xy times 1 is xy. Well, that's what we've been doing. We've been multiplying polynomials, but I don't think I actually ever really mentioned it. Let's say that I had something like this written out. Now this is to the second power. So what this says is that there's two of these. There's an x plus 4 times an x plus 4. So let's go through and multiply these two polynomials together. Let's say let's say this is a polynomial and this one is here and we're multiplying them together. So remember take the first term and multiply it by each one of these so this becomes x squared plus 4x and then we go to the second one multiplying them by each one of those terms so this becomes 4x and 4 times 4 is 16. And of course we can simplify this down combining all of our like terms. So 4x and 4x are alike so that becomes 8x and then just plus 16. So as you can see x plus 4 all raised to the second power is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 16. So let's do that again. Let's say we had x minus 2y and we want to raise it to the second power. So I can rewrite this. In fact, I'll do this down here. This is x minus 2y times x minus 2y. Okay. So x times x is x squared and then x times negative 2y is negative 2xy. It doesn't matter if I were to write 2yx or 2xy, it's the same thing. And now we, let's go to the second one, so minus 2y times x minus 2, and I'm going to write it like this, and then minus 2y times minus 2y is a plus because we have a minus and a minus, right? and then that becomes 4y squared because we have y times y. Now we can simplify this down to x squared. We have like terms here so minus 4xy plus 4y squared. Let's work with a fraction. What if I had x minus a half and the whole thing was squared? So we can rewrite this as x minus a half times x minus a half. So x times x is x squared. x times minus a half would be a half x and then minus a half x times x and then a minus a half times minus a half is a positive one fourth and then we can combine these like terms together.